Hey guys, welcome back to Opimation. This is a short and sweet video on my workflow, what hotkeys I use just to make your workflow a bit more efficient and quicker instead of going up, pressing buttons, this and that. I use certain hotkeys in the graph editor in terms of splining and stuff like that. So let's dive straight in and I'll show you how to do that. So if we look at the screen here, we I've just animated this uh, uh, ball up and down. Now what we want to do, sometimes if we go into a graph editor, and we'd be like, all right, this is translation. I want to, if you look at this handle, it's, it's not broken, nothing. It's just standard, yeah, how it comes in. Now, sometimes I can select all of this and go to constant. So say if you're doing blocked, so there you can see it's blocked. And you want to change that to uh, spline. Instead of always going up here and doing it, or then you could also, or if you want to change to linear, instead of always going up here, up here, I have a shortcut key, which is Alt and F. So if I select this, I press Alt and F, you see it flattens. If I press, if I press all of it, sorry, Alt and F, see everything's flattened. And if I go to Alt and S, that's blind. Now, how do we set these up? Okay, I'll show you. So these are really good because, because my finger is around the undo button, I normally try to keep all my shortcuts around the translate scale rotate area because I'm always using that and it's very quick for access and when you set up a hockey within a week or two you you memorize it so it's not in, it's not like a, you need to learn a new thing after you do it a few times don't worry it's fine you just get it ingrained and it becomes part of your workflow and it just makes everything so quick and easy so what you do is if I come here and say if I open up the script editor here so this opens up so what I'll do now I'll go to history and well clear all sorry I'll go to edit clear all so we've got a blank slate now what I'll do is if I select this here and I go to spline a command will come up here so it says tangent spline off off so what you want to do you want to copy this so if you press ctrl c copy or right click yeah sorry ctrl c copy and then what you do, you go into your Windows, Settings, Hotkey Preferences. Now in here, I've got my default du duplicate. Now what you do is, and then I go to Custom Scripts, right? This is my Custom Scripts. So in here are all the scripts that I've got. So Lock On, Weighted Tangent, Spline, Flat, which we'll be showing now, as you can see, OS, OF and then show poly. These are scripts which I can share with you as well. But this one, for example, so if you want to create a new one, all you do is you go to run command. So that command you copied from here, which is uh, all at the top now, this one. Remember we copied that? All you do if you want to create a new one is you come in here and you go to new and you literally just paste it in. That's all you're doing. And then here you can type in spline tangent right and then you can I just normally copy this in here as well and then if you go to save runtime yet yeah, and then there it is now all you do here is you allocate a button so then I can go alt for the example sake I'll do alt b and then you go to save and it saved it now if I close this if I save and close and I come here, let's, let's put all of this to constant. Okay, and now if I select all of them and go to control B, it splines it all. So you can do the same thing with, if you come here, go to flat. So if I open up the script editor and then I clear everything, I normally clear everything because then I know exactly what command it is. So if I go to flat, Actually, I'll show you better. If I do this, if I clear this, if I select that, obviously it's gonna say that's what, it basically translates every, everything you do in Maya comes up on this script editor here. So it just records the history. But if I select that keyframe and I go to flat, there, that's the command we want. So that's all you do, you just copy that and do the same thing that I did. You go into the hotkey editor, go to hotkeys, and then you choose your list. You can save your list here. And then just go to runtime command, new, and literally just paste it in. Type in your name. So this will be flat, flat tange, we can call it that. 
and just save and it comes up here you see and then we can go to alt or wherever you want it could be control whatever alt h yeah so that it's that simple to create them so you and you can do this with all kinds of commands you know just look at your clear your script editor and uh, you might want to be like okay create a sphere or something like that copy that command put it in so it's that simple and i found that over the years this has helped me with my workflow it's made it much quicker you know i can flat spline and just look at something put it back also uh play play uh play play through playback and all those kind of stuff next frame like next frame, next frame for me would be alt one and alt two so it goes forward back so it's, everything's near in that area so the idea is to because you use the undo button a lot when you're animating well i do anyway because i can't get the right pose so i keep undoing um it's and also like your w rotate rotation scale and uh scale and uh, translation are all in one place so it's it's very efficient to put all the other short keys well i found in my experience around the same area because your hand doesn't go move you're, you're wasting time moving here and back here you know over the week you you save when you're doing work you save quite a lot of time by doing that by making your workflow more efficient so i think that's very that's a very uh good way of uh, working when you're doing your animations so just a little quick tip there so if you if you like that video and you think uh, it helped you and you think other people might like it please share and like and subscribe so watch this space i'll be putting up some new videos on different shortcuts that i use that might help in your workflow too so i'll see you in the next video happy animating